What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and you know it's starting to get colder here in North Carolina and a lot of our divers are changing out of their three mils, out of their five mils and they're either wearing their seven mils, their eight mils and even their dry suits and what we're going to be talking about in this video is how do you take care of your zipper on your dry suit. I know a lot of people have been asking us for this very specific video and so what I've got here is my two personal dry suits. These are the ones that I wear a lot. Uh, my orange suit you guys see in a lot, this is by a company called OS Systems, and this is my public safety slash salvage dry suit. This is what I use when I do a lot of, or when I do do a little bit of tech diving. This is the suit that I wear for that. And this is just my leisurely, leisurely fun diving dry suit here. Um, this is by a company called Comfort Zone Scuba. Uh, this is their baseline model here. And I really like a neoprene dry suit just for the warmth and the comfort fact of it. Uh, but I do have different purposes for each suit. But what we're gonna be focusing on are the zippers because primarily these have two different types of zippers. My tri-laminate here has a number eight brass tooth zipper. This one has a plasti zip and they're both from YKK. They're very high, high quality, durable zippers, but the zipper care for each is a little bit different as far as how I store the suit once I've got them clean. So let me get the camera reset up and what we're going to do is actually zoom in on each zipper and I'm going to walk you through the process of how I clean the zippers and then I'm going to talk a little bit about storage as well, whether or not you should be leaving your zipper open or closed when you store your dry suit. Alright guys, so I just want to give you a closer look here. This is the number 8 brass tooth zipper. It's a YKK zipper. This is on my OS Systems dry suit. As you can see, there's a lot of oil and dirt and stuff on here. Um, I use this primarily for public safety diving, for salvage work, things like that. When I do uh, my limited tech diving that I do do, this is the suit that I wear for that. And then like I said, this is a Plasti zip. This is also a YKK zipper as well. This is on my uh, Comfort Zone Scuba dry suit here. Um, and it's just a plastic zipper. It is a waterproof plastic zipper here, but the care for these or the cleaning for these is pretty much the same, but the care is going to be slightly different, especially when we talk about storage. So what we're going to do is look at each one individually. I'm going to walk you briefly through the cleaning process that I do for these, and then I'll talk about the storage process, whether you should leave your suit hanging with the zipper uh, open or closed, or should you store your suit, say in a bag or a box, and should the zipper be open or closed as well. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna look at is how do I clean the zipper? How do I keep it lubricated when I'm not using the suit? Uh, you'll notice that the zipper's open now. We're gonna assume that I just took the suit off. Uh, maybe it's dried out, maybe I'm back at the shop, and now it's time to actually clean the zip and actually take good care of it so that it's gonna last a very long time. Typically speaking, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and zip it back up. And this is gonna allow me to get in here and actually clean these teeth very thoroughly. And all I use for that is a toothbrush. This is just an old toothbrush. And I'm just gonna take it, and if it's dry, I'm gonna brush away any of the harsh debris, anything like that. It doesn't take very much, just a little gentle brush. Now, if there is any, say, mud or dirt and debris that I can't really get out, I wanna use a very, very mild detergent, maybe baby shampoo and water, maybe just a few drops of Dome dish detergent, which is not very mild, but just a few droplets of it and water. And I'm just gonna get in there and just kinda of scrub it away like that. And then I'll just kinda of use a spray bottle or a water hose or something just to rinse it off really well now once that is complete then of course I'm gonna take just say a chamois cloth or something like that just to dry it off just to get that extra moisture out of the area something very simple like that and then I'm gonna actually lubricate the zipper itself now to do that I use two different products this is a product from the manufacturer itself a lot of guys know what this is some call it t-zip some call it tie zip it works very well it does tend to be a little on the pricey side when you go to replace it but I'm gonna show you a great alternative for it uh, if you're familiar with a company called Trident they're just basically a distributor as well but they just make a basic silicone lube. We use this a lot of times, say, on uh, O-rings and things like that for regulators and hoses and stuff. I'm just going to take a little dab, just a little dab there on my finger. Doesn't take very much at all. And all I'm going to do is just kind of brush it in a couple little different areas of the zipper itself. Okay, run my finger across it just to make it nice and smooth. It's gonna kind of have this shiny little film and that's exactly what I wanna do. I just wanna put a shiny little film across it. Uh, I'm gonna take the zipper truck itself or the mechanism for the zipper and I'm gonna go all the way open with it and then once again, all the way closed with it. Now when I say all the way, what I mean is I'm not stopping, I'm not creating kinks or anything in the zipper. I just want it to be very smooth. Just one quick pull like that 
and then one quick pull to zip it up. Now, typically speaking, when you don your dry suit, whoever's zipping it up in this particular uh, suit, this is a rear uh, entry suit, somebody has to zip it up for me, typically I'll tell them, make sure you zip it in one smooth motion. I don't want a lot of different stops in there because that can create kinks in the material or if you got frays, they can get caught up in the zipper. So I'll make sure everything's good and flat for them and I'll tell them, when you go to zip it, just kind of grab onto the material, give it a smooth pull. If it's not a smooth pull, then typically your zipper in itself is not going to be lubricated enough. But that's it, guys. I just use a little bit of silicone lube there. Um, you know, which one do I prefer? To be honest, it just depends on which one's in my hand at the time. But these are the two that I carry. This is just the tie zip, T zip, whatever it is you want to call it. And then the silicone lube here from Trident is probably my go to for most of the lube uh, applications that I use for scuba diving. So, I'm going to set this one aside. We're going to get up my tri laminate suit now, and I'm going to show you how I take good care of the zipper as well. In this particular suit, it's going to kind of be the same fashion as far as cleaning goes. All I'm going to do is simply take the suit and zip it up, okay? Now, I can really get in there and clean these uh, zipper teeth out. I'm just going to kind of brush them out. You know, dry first, get any of the heavy debris, anything like that. Of course, I can spray it down with water and wash things like that. Um, if I do need to clean the zipper, a lot of times on these brass zippers, they can corrode a little bit if you leave them, uh, say, dry, or if you leave them, or if you put them up wet and leave them wet, they can corrode a little bit. Now, to get that green corrosion off, you can make you a mixture of, say, vinegar and baking soda and kind of let it get fizzed up. Just dip your toothbrush in it a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely saturated, but just kind of brush it on there and it'll really clean up a lot of that corrosion if you start noticing corrosion on your suit. But once again, I'm just gonna kind of clean it up real good. Once that's done, now I need to lubricate it. Now there's a lot of different waxes out there that you can use. Obviously, paraffin wax is what you're gonna wanna use with it. Beeswax can work good. I've actually used chapstick before if it's, uh, say, Burt's beeswax is chapstick. Um, but probably my go-to is bowstring wax. And if you're an archer, you can understand just how vitally important bowstring wax is for your bow or for the string on your bow. Well, it happens to be a very good lubricant for your dry suit zipper as well, especially if it's the brass tooth zipper like this one here. Um, it's very inexpensive and it lasts a very long time. I have probably actually had this particular tube going on now five or six years and I still probably have half the tube left. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of gently rub it on the teeth. I'm not putting very much on there. I'm just gently rubbing it on there. The last thing that you wanna do is actually clunk it up on the zipper. So just put you a very light film all the way across. Put the lid back on. Now to smooth that out, I'm gonna just gonna use heat to do it. So I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm gonna rub them together. I'm gonna get them nice and warm and then I'm gonna rub it across the zipper as well. And all I'm doing is just kind of melting that wax and creating a slick film all the way through. Now I know it's a slick film because when I go to do my test with the zipper, I'm, what I'm gonna do is use this zipper truck here and just one smooth motion, open it up. One smooth motion, close it up. And I'm gonna do that just a couple of times just to make sure that wax is on there, to make sure that there's no clumps in it. I can usually feel if there's a clump in it and if there's a clump, then I can just go through, reheat up my fingers, rub that wax in, or I can just, you know, take the wax off, just kind of brush it off. But all I want is a nice, smooth motion, just like that. Now guys, I've actually had this particular suit since 2012, so it's going on seven years. I've probably got maybe a thousand or 1500 dives on this suit. And as you can see, this is the original zipper. I've never replaced the zipper in this suit. And as you can see, it is nice, it is smooth, it is slick as glass. So I really take good care of my zippers. It doesn't take a lot of work. A simple toothbrush, a little bit of mild detergent, then you're gonna dry it off just like we did the other one, and then you're gonna use some type of lubricant. I just like bowstring wax, but obviously paraffin wax is what manufacturers tell you to use, and it's as simple as that. Now let's get reset up, and I'll show you how I hang the suits up and whether I leave the zippers open or closed for storage.
All right, guys, let's talk real quick about storage. I'm going to show you how I store both of my dry suits and what I do with the zippers when I hang them up, and then we'll get into what do I do when I put them, say, in a bag or a box or something like that. Now, I'm actually going to start with my neoprene uh, suit first. This is just my, once again, the comfort zone neoprene dry suit here. Um, you'll notice that the zipper is closed temporarily. That's because we just cleaned it, and I showed you how I did that. I'm actually going to open the zipper up. Okay. And the reason I do that is simply because most of the time this suit gets hung up upside down. Since this suit actually has built-in boots, one of the things that I utilize to store this suit is a boot hanger. Uh, you can pick these up relatively cheap. There's all different types of waiter hangers, things like that. I just use the ones from XS Scuba. It's just a little travel hanger and it's designed for uh, dry suit boots specifically. Now I'm just going to slide them into the slots of the hanger. And it's as simple as that. Now, the reason I want to leave that zipper open, and primarily it's because typically when I store this to begin with, the suit is still wet. So I want to leave it open. I want to allow that air to kind of flush through the suit to help. If there is any moisture, maybe I sweated in the suit, or maybe I did have some type of failure in the suit and it leaked. This way it'll allow that gravity and the air to get in there and it'll pull all the moisture out. Now, once the moisture is out, once the suit's dry, it usually takes a couple hours. Once that's dried, then of course I want to zip the zipper up. In this particular fashion, it's not really going to damage the suit. There's nothing that can really kink up the zipper. So to start with, I'll leave the zipper open. Then of course I'll close it uh, to end the drying process, if you will, or how I store it as far as hanging on a hanger. Now I do want to show you a different method. I'm not a huge fan of this, but let's say that you do have a dry suit that does not have built-in boots. This is probably going to be one of the only options that you're going to have as far as hanging it up. You want some type of wide hanger system. Uh, for the purpose of this video, all I'm going to be using is just a standard uh, wetsuit hanger here. Um, it tends to work fairly well for dry suits. So all I'm going to do is just take the hanger here. I'm going to stick it up through the neck seal. Okay. Then I'm going to zip it up real quick. Okay. Just like that. I'm just going to take the, the hanger and simply hang it up. Now, I'm not a huge, huge fan of this on this particular suit just because it does put quite a bit of stress here on the material, and I don't really want that in my dry suit. But if this is the only option that you've got, it's definitely a decent option for you to use. Now, you will notice that I went ahead and zipped it up. Here's why I zip it up if I'm going to hang the suit that way. If I open the suit up, the first thing that you're going to notice is, yeah, it's going to get quite a bit of airflow, but it's going to put a lot of undue stress on the neck seal and on the shoulder part of the dry suit, and I don't want that. So if I'm going to be hanging this suit up in this fashion, I want to leave that zipper closed as well. Now what we're going to do is actually move over to the tri-laminate suit, and I'm going to show you how I hang it up as well. Now, with my tri-laminate suit, the first thing that you'll notice is it too has built-in boots. I actually prefer this on my dry suits for a couple reasons. One, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to put my dry suit halfway on, then bend down and put some type of rock boots on. I actually prefer the built-in boots, especially in this particular suit, because this is my public safety suit. And a lot of times I, I'm in a, say, a quick deployment situation where I've just got to put it on, jump in the water, and go with it, and I really don't have the time to put on extra boots. So I really like the built-in boots uh, for that quick deployment purpose. Also, it makes it very simple to utilize the same boot hanger and I simply hang it up like that. Now, one thing that you'll notice, the zipper actually stays open on this particular dry suit. This is going to allow any moisture. Maybe I sweated in the suit. Maybe I did have some type of failure and it leaked. This is going to allow that moisture to come out. It's going to allow airflow to go through the suit and help dry it out. Plus, that gravity is going to pull it out. Now, typically speaking, I'm not going to zip this up. Even once it's dried, I'm just going to leave it open and allow that airflow to go in and out the suit. Now, if I do find myself in a situation where maybe I don't have a boot hanger with me or something like that, then I can still use that standard wetsuit hanger or some type of wide mouth hanger, if you will. And all I'm going to do is just stick it inside the suit, just like I did with the uh, neoprene suit. And then I'm going to zip it up real quick, like so. And then I'm going to hang it up. 
Once again, I'm not a huge, huge fan of using these style hangers for this, although it does work. But as you can already see, it's put a lot of undue stress there on the neck ring and on the um, or the neck ring itself and on the neck seal itself. So I'm not a huge fan of this right here, but I promise you it will work for a pinch. I would prefer to hang the suit up via the boot hanger itself. But if you don't have built-in boots, this may be the only option for you. One thing that I will say is whatever manufacturer of dry suit you got, check with the manufacturer to see what type of hanging system or drying system they have because I can tell you they are well worth the money. They're definitely worth the investment to go with if you want to take good care of your suit. Now, in this situation, I do zip it up because once again, if I unzip the zipper here, what that does is actually put even more undue stress up here in this area of the hanger and it's even put more stress on the neck ring and on the um, the neck seal itself. So I don't want to leave it open if it's going to be hanging up by a hanger. I just want to simply zip it up like so. That's going to take a lot of that stress away. So now let's see how I take care of these suits as far as when I store them in a bag and I'll show you exactly what I do with the zippers whether it's in a bag or say if a box or something like that. Alright guys, so the last thing we're going to look at real quick is how do I store these dry suits in a bag when I do store them. I'm going to go ahead and start with a neoprene suit. Now typically speaking, I hardly ever store my neoprene suit in a bag just because it does stay hung up here at the shop. This is kind of my go-to leisurely suits, what I like to dive just for fun uh, if I do need a dry suit or whatnot. But typically speaking, what I would do, say if I am traveling or something, is I'm just going to lay the suit out nice and flat. And you'll notice that the zipper is closed here. And I typically want to leave this zipper closed. And since this zipper is designed to kind of go around my shoulders, I want to make sure I kind of keep it in that position. So I'm actually going to flip it over. So I want this suit facing upward as if I was wearing it and say laying on my back. Now what I'm going to do is just simply roll up the suit. And I just want to be gentle here. I don't want to really create that many creases in the neoprene. Um, but I just want to gently roll it up into a nice little neat package. Now keeping that zipper in that correct form, I'm just going to take the arms and fold them in. And now that zipper is kind of in the same position as what if it, say if it was going around my shoulders, it's in the exact same uh, position as if I was wearing it. And I'm just going to kind of leave it there for a second. I personally like to use a dry bag for this. I believe this is either a 35 or a 40 liter dry bag. I've actually had this suit a very, or this this dry bag for a very long time, and it actually works great for this particular dry suit. As you can see, it's going to fit it just perfectly. And all I'm going to do is just simply slide it inside the bag, okay? And I'm not stuffing it. I'm not really using this as a stuff sack, if you will. I'm just simply putting it down in the bag. I'm going to kind of let it go however it, it wants to fit itself up in there. Now, I am going to keep the suit rolled up, but once again, I'm not putting much pressure at all. I'm not really shoving it down in there and packing it down. You'll notice that once I get it in here, one of the things that I do is actually leave air in the bag itself. Now, typically with a dry bag, I'm going to squeeze, or a compression bag, I'll squeeze all the air out. Not with this one. I actually want to leave a little bit of air in there to help draw a little bit extra moisture. If there's any moisture in the suit, um, it'll help kind of dry that out. I'm just going to kind of shake it down in there like so. Now, at this point, typically with a dry bag, I, I would squeeze it down, or with a compression bag, I'd squeeze it down. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to roll it up a couple of rolls here. And I'm going to pull the clip system around, like so. Snap it into place, and it's as simple as that. Now, when I do store this dry suit in a bag, that's how I do it. A great scenario here would be, say, if I'm going to and from a dive site and I don't want my dry suit just laying in the back of my truck or, say, in the back seat or something like that, I'm just going to simply put it in this bag. There you go. It's very simple. Or let's say I'm coming back from a, a dive site. Maybe I'm in someone's car or I'm going to be putting this in, say, my back seat of my pickup versus the back of the truck. Then, of course, I would actually put it in the bag because if it's still wet, I don't want to get my truck seat and things like that wet. So I'd put it in the bag till I got back, and then, of course, I would hang it up. So let's take a quick look at the tri-laminate, and I'll show you how I store the zipper or store the suit with the zipper. It's going to be pretty much the same process, uh, but 
due to the uh, style of suit that this is and the features it's built in, the way I roll it and fold it is going to be a little bit different. But I do want you to notice that the zipper is open here. Now typically with a brass zipper, if you zip them up and try to fold it up, you're going to kink the zipper and that can get those teeth kind of out of position or it can kink them up and break them if you will or break the seal. So I don't want to do that. I'm actually going to leave the brass zipper open. So I'm just going to kind of lay the suit out as well, just like I did with the neoprene. And you'll notice this particular suit, as I mentioned earlier, it does have the neck ring here. And I don't want to really kink that material around the neck ring like it is right now. So I kind of want to leave a little bit of play in there so I'm not kinking that material up. Now typically what I'll do here is I'm going to actually grab at the waist area and kind of fold it over. Okay. So I'm going to lay it down on the table and I'm going to fold it over with that neck ring being on top, just like that. Now I can pull the legs over and what that actually does is that's going to help protect that neck ring as well. So I've kind of folded it over, pulled the, the legs over as well. Now if I want to fold it one more time I can, typically I don't have to do that because I do want to keep it as flat as possible. And I'm just going to kind of create an X with the arms here. Now I do have uh, rings here for my gloves. I do have dry gloves on this particular suit. And I'm just going to keep it in this nice little square flat profile. I'm going to get the bag for it as well. And this particular bag is a dual stage bag. I've got a bag for the suit and then of course I have a bag for my undergarments as well. I'm going to pull those out temporarily and open the bag up just like that. I'm going to take this little square of a dry suit, if you will, and I'm just going to lay it on top of the bag, just like that right there. Now what I can do is actually come in here and start stuffing it down in the bottom of the bag. And all I'm going to do is allow the suit to kind of form around the bag on the inside, if you will. I'm not putting very much pressure at all. I'm just kind of keeping it as flat as possible just like that just kind of fills up the bag now the reason I don't want to push it down and stuff it is because I can actually damage the suit I can put too many kinks in the material stuff like that take my dry gloves I'm gonna put them down here in the corner all right I've got two hoods for this suit depending on whether I'm wearing just a traditional mask or a full face mask I'm gonna slide them in the bag as well and then a lot of you guys know that I like the sham cloths um, Primarily if the suit's still wet and I put it up, I can put the chamois cloth in there and it actually protects my undergarments from getting them wet uh, when I go to store them in the bag as well. So just kind of spread it out there. And now I can take my undergarments, flip them up on top. Kind of shake the bag down. I never want to put too much force or compression on it. These are not really stuff sacks. I can push down a little bit, but I don't want to lose the, um, I don't want to kink or press in or compress my undergarments as well. And I definitely don't want to kink up anything on the dry suit. But I'm just going to kind of shake it down in the bag and then simply zip it up just like that. So guys, that's pretty much it for the zipper care of my dry suits. I showed you how I cleaned them. I showed you how uh, I store them, whether I hang it up or I put it in the bag. I'll go ahead and tell you on my tri laminate, it pretty much stays in the bag once it's dried uh, because I do use it for public safety. It usually stays in my truck year round. If I get a call out or something like that, I can immediately go to it and deploy it. My neoprene primarily stays hung up unless I'm specifically going somewhere other than the lake here. And then of course, I'll just store it in this little dry bag. When I get to my dive destination, it comes out. I'll put it back in temporarily till I get back to the shop and then I'll hang it up and I typically leave it hung up. But guys, that's it for uh, the zipper care. That's how I do it. That's how I take care of my zippers. Um, you know, I hope that you can utilize this video, utilize these tips and techniques to make the best out of your dry suit. I hope you get the best out of your investment if you've purchased a dry suit before. Uh, if you take good care of your suits, they will definitely take good care of you. Just remember, the zipper is probably the most important part of the suit and it's definitely the most expensive if it tears up to repair. So definitely do what you can to take good care of your suit as well. But guys, I hope you like these tips. If you did, do me two favors. Smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. If you got any more questions on dry suit care, zipper care, things like that, put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can and as quickly as I can as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.